dustiness comes in all shades, sizes, professions, country of origin, class. The dustiness is global. It's global. Um, I'm sure we've all seen this um, Killer Mike clip talking about child support. And this, I was hesitant to make this video because just listening to these to these people, it, it caused a brain aneurysm. It caused a brain aneurysm and a brain Charlie horse. And I'm just now getting over it. But the dust is global. Listening to this person, like, ex want to shift the blame of the person with the peen to the government that needs, the government needs to take care of their kids for two years because they didn't have self-control. Like, why is he even having this conversation with somebody that is running for a federal level office when child support is state level? This conversation is foolish, is silly. And instead of talking to these people, talk to the boys and the young men in the community. Talk to the old men in the community that are spreading out sperm like candy. For those of you that have not seen the, the video, um, if you're on TikTok, I'll just attach it. If you are on, um, if you're on my YouTube page, here it comes. The child support. I think the solution is this, no matter your way. Um, two years. Young woman gets pregnant as a teenager. Young man and woman get pregnant. This is the two-year plan. First two years are debt-free. You don't have to pay the government anything back. So she doesn't get to drag him in the court and say, and the court doesn't say you owe us money for investing in your child through food programs, through early Head Start programs. Because in those two years, the boy has the option, or not an option, he has the demand of the co-man to then go to a trade school. You have to go to a trade school, which incentivizes the United States to do it because we need more trades people. We, we don't do. have enough carpenters. We don't have enough electricians. We, we don't have enough people building roads. That. In my community, the girls are going to college and graduating. They have no men to marry because the boys are not going to college in the same way. My teachers were married to a tradesman. My teacher, who we call doctor, her, 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 her husband owns a locksmith company. Her husband was a, was a carpenter, was a mechanic. So they had a good life. Their kids went to school right the same schools we went to. I think that the incentive to solving the child support problem and a part of solving our infrastructure problem is to incentivize young boys who have gotten a girl pregnant. You must now go through two years of trade school. Oh, wait a minute. It's so, okay, I like what you're saying. Let me give you the rest of the answer. Like, okay, go ahead. As, after that boy graduates, you get a further incentive if you and the girl marry. If you and the girl marry, we'll give you these incentives, zero finance, home loans, something out of HUD besides an apartment with a leaky faucet and rats and roaches. I don't know if you guys have seen this video. This is the reason why I started out by saying the dust is global. Dustiness is global. It's a terrible phenomenon that spans race, creed, class, or whatever. So on this video, this person in this corner um, with the, the beard is upset about the child support that he is being ordered to pay. He only has his child for 48 days out of the year, 48 days out of 365. And he does not want to pay his court ordered child support. And towards the, towards the end, he was like um, objecting to the amount and wanting to, um, he's like, can we pause this so I can get an attorney? Like, why do these people not have the sense enough to come to court with an attorney? I don't know. They are not the most logical, even though they talk like they're the most logical, but they're not. Y'all need to see this video too. Um, yeah. Paying that amount. I gotta live too. What do you think? Does money comes free? Like, what? <laughs> I don't even have physical custody. Why do I have to pay that much? As much as if she has said, you know, give me physical custody and pay me five hundred a month. Well, that's part of the reason why it's it's higher is because you don't have very many. Uh, other. Can we reschedule this? Can I get a lawyer? Uh, no, you can file an objection if you don't like the result of the hearing. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I would like to file an objection. Okay, the instructions on how to do that will be in the order. Uh, the, the the amount can be deviated from it can provide good cause or that it's inappropriate or unjust. Did you have anything else you wanted to say other than you're not paying it? Yeah, that's just a crazy amount of money. Like, 
how do you expect me to pay rent and pay my car payment and pay for him when he comes the hundreds of dollars I spend when he's with me because I have to go to because you guys only let me get him 48 days out of the year. Well, that's an agreement that the two of you made. That's not uh, something you say that you guys only let me get in 48 days out of the year. That's an agreement well, you made. Well, then how can I split it before I get happy? Both, don't interrupt me. Don't interrupt. You both came to court with that agreement hammered out. That's not something that was imposed on you by the court. All right. Well, then how do I get it? Well, then I want to file for full custody. Well, you can file your own motions, but that's not why we're here. All right. Sounds good. All right. Uh, at this point, I'll go with that amount then, 515 a month. That'd be effective. Uh, if I don't pay it, what happens? If you don't pay the amount that's ordered, uh, the matter is usually set for, uh, you'll get a, a notice in the mail that you're not paying and, uh, and a request to contact the friend of the court. If, uh, if it's not resolved that way, then uh, a show cause will be filed. And a show cause, you could be held in contempt. Order to make payments, a jail sentence. Yeah, well, I'll it's just pay or stay, right? I'll send you It's just pay or stay, right? I can sit in jail for a couple for a couple under. That's cool. It was like five days. Well, the money doesn't go away if you go to jail. Oh, whatever. I'll sit there. I don't care. I'd rather sit in jail than pay that. You still owe it though. It's ninety. Whatever. It'd be forty-five days for a first offense, ninety for subsequent offense. Oh well. That's easy enough. Get that on my head. Your credit will be affected. You could lose um, passports, license. I don't have nothing anyways. I don't care. It does not bother me not one bit. I don't have nothing to take. Go ahead. Whatever you want to do. Driver's license? I'll Whatever. Do. Take it. I don't care. I'll drive without one. You, you guys like don't understand. Look at my record. The law doesn't bug me not one bit. I do not care. Not one bit. No. Some of the comments. Chris Castro says, I know y'all dragging him. But every single day, there's a lot of women taking, I think he might be saying, taking advantage of the child support system. It's one of the biggest scams in America now. If he could afford the $500 a month, I'm sure he would have gotten a lawyer on his behalf, considering judges rule for the mother's benefit nine times out of 10. This dude makes himself look bad, but this is just one side of the coin. What about the other? The other side is the person that is taking care of the child for the majority of the time. And so she needs the money. She is the one that has to do all of the effort, like taking care of the kid when he's sick or making food for the child and doing homework. So this a little amount of money is nothing. That's what the other side looks like. Responsibility. That's what it looks like. So Chris Evans simply said, are you dumb? This person said, I've never received a dime. It's been 22 years. He had 11 years and never did nothing for his only son. And there's on, there's so many moms in the same situation. I've never told him no. I let his family visit and come take him out whenever. Men don't like kids. This person says, right. And um, pay attention to the avatars. Pay attention to the pictures. This brat me says, right. I tried this for I tried this too for six years. He still never came around, said he was too broke to visit for six years. So now I take half of his paycheck and he cries that I'm keeping him from seeing his kids. Dustiness across race. This person says many men don't like women either. They like the resources they provide until you're drained dry. This person says my friend got a check when her son was 27. His father had died. They took it out of his estate. This person says, girl, same. Mine is technically involved in a sense that she goes to his house after school once a week and is over there some weekends. So he thinks he's doing all that he needs to do. I could have the court intervene, but I still wouldn't see a dime. So there's no point. These people better file because if there's ever a large settlement, they'll get that money. Nia says, girl, same. Toya says, girl, same. So this person is responding to that band that said women are taking advantage of the child support. He's like, child support orders are determined by state law, laws that were made by men. Laws that were made by men. So basically, they need to take it up with these men, but they won't because these other men know that these children need to be taken care of one way or another. This person says, if a woman is covering every bill, whatever she gets is a reimbursement. That's what child support is. Moms or the custodial parents front the cost. And only the financial cost, not the time and energy and everything else that goes into being a parent. Just simply some of the financial costs. The non-custodial parent needs to pay that part back. 
That's why tired, real tired says, boom, that part. And Chuck says, precisely. This will be the perfect time to plug my book, Ashy Men Will Make You Fat, A Petty Self-Help Guide. We are, you, the book is available at bourbonbougieshop.com. You can see that website right there, bourbonbougieshop.com. Ashy Men Will Make You Fat is a petty self-help guide that talks about how choosing the right, the wrong partner can impact your finances, how it can Im- impact your mental health, your emotional health, all of that. But definitely we talk about how family planning is financial planning. So go to bourbonbougieshop.com. Check out the website, check out the book. There's a book and a workbook that goes along with it. All right, then for the comments, let me know what you think about this. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. If you made it this far, don't forget to subscribe.